Every move that you make is recorded in the air. Now, I've responded to this in part already, but I thought I'd respond to it again, just to make the simple and obvious point. Because this person, um, I can excuse the grammar. My grammar isn't great, even though I mentioned it. But in any case, the idea, uh, you, you're a fucker who just wants views. But the point I made is if I wanted to gain views, what would be better? Okay, that's my line of thought. That's why I left that second comment there. What would be better? What could get me views? Consistent views, large views, potentially, if I make it my my niche or my gambit, as it were, on YouTube to gather an audience. Well, um, insulting Trump or mocking Trump or mocking Sanders or insulting Bernie Sanders or talking about the uh, the Brexit negotiations and failure thereof, uh, the European Union and how it's uh, poorly democratic and needs radical reform inside, how there needs to be corporate reform in the UK and within the European Union and the United States as well as many other places, how China is still not our friend despite being, uh, you know, in some ways more open, more free, but still effectively a communist nation, how so many things around the world are pretty bad, yeah? I could talk about cults, and I do on occasion, but usually not very popular ones or very well-known ones for the English-speaking world. I might talk about a West African cult. What do I get? A handful of views. I don't mind. I'm happy enough to talk about things I'm interested in. Or I might talk about a weird South African cult, which is heavily based on New Age principles and conspiracy theories. Does it get me many views? Well, it gets me some views, thousands of views, around about five years ago, but now, no. So really, what am I gaining? What am I getting from talking about, you know, people like Erin Green and her claim to be using a GoFundMe, well, FundMe page to, you know, crowdfunding page to basically escape the Illuminati? It's preposterous. And remember, this GoFundMe goes back two years ago uh, to allow her partner to die because she's only got months to live. You know, she's going to die soon. Oh, right. Only got months to live. Is she dead now? No, of course not. Is she claiming to be dying now? No. These people are con artists, low-level con artists that I'm exposing. But that's not just about generating views, that's about generating awareness. And let's be entirely honest, when it comes down to most of my exposure videos, all I'm getting is simply some communication with other critics and some communication with some of the people who are supporters or people who don't know any better who think it's just about views as opposed to exposing a con artist who's made tens of thousands of dollars through her scam. She is worth exposing. But I guess I should ignore that. I guess I shouldn't bother with that because, oh well, it may well just mean that some people come to my channel and watch my video one time. Even though the views aren't huge. In fact, what are the views for this particular video? So let me get this right. I thought I actually had a couple of thousand views. I've made this video age restricted. You know, I do that with some of my older content because it's no longer relevant and it also tends to avoid some flagging issues, but there you are. Um, basically, this video, even if you say it's clickbait, even if you say I'm whoring views, well, guess what? I've only got 500 views, mate. Oh dear, yeah. You know, this video may have reached a handful of people. I mean, that's just simply some of my subscribers, mostly, and other people who are critics of Erin's so-called Rothschild, who is, in fact, Eve Hicks Green, or Eve Hicks, as she calls herself in her false copyright claims. So is it really attention whoring? I'm only asking because I think it's important that we get to the nub of the matter, you know? And even if it's fair to say that this is a clickbait uh, kind of, well title, which let's face it, a lot of titles are on YouTube. In fact, I'd say a great many of them, a huge number. Um, even so, it hasn't really paid off, has it? But the thing it has done, because of the tags for this video, it's actually reached the people I want it to reach, which is basically people who are critics of a con artist who plays on the credulity of some conspiracy theorists and New Agers. Every move that you make is recorded in the air.